At the Cooperative Cafe, we have three main goals, advancing our thinking, building shared understanding, and creating alignment at our co-ops and among co-ops. These goals exist in three different layers. During the session itself, at our individual co-ops back home when we're doing the work and moving it forward, and among co-ops regionally and nationally. Our theme for this session is connecting co-ops and community with an emphasis on a new paradigm for participation, own, use, serve, and belong. During the co-op cafe session, we use powerful questions to focus the conversations. For this session, we use the question, how can we begin to shape cooperative democracy and participation as a driving force for the success of our co-ops? What could it look like? What might happen? In the first question, participants focused on the concepts of own and belong. And in the second question, use and serve. After a series of small group conversations, we ask each small group to distill the conversations they've been having down to just a few words. A person from each group then shares their work. Here's a sampling. Generational gaps and sustainability, framing the term democracy and the discussion. Um, we also need to use all-inclusive language. I have um, conversation belonging democracy, consistent community connection, and democracy is our differentiating factor. Membership that is inclusive, show the way, make it easy, and toot your own horn. How do we actually define success? How do we evaluate it? Um, like money or other quantifiables, or how deep is the democracy? How are we inspiring democratic, cooperative uh, examples in the community? How are we keeping ourselves inspired by the democratic, cooperative model? Um, a phrase that I'll say again. How, how are we uh, tooting our own horn? Sorry to say it again. Diverse programs to reflect our communities. Participation measures success on every level. Rights equal responsibility. Community, outreach, belonging, mutual aid, engagement options, ambassadors, affinity groups, recipe contests, and movie nights. Co-op ambassadors and spreading the word, although I do think that we also said tooting our own horn. A membership structure that supports engaged owners, and then also reflect changing demographics and leverage technology. Engaging communication and outreach, alignment uh, between all of the stakeholders in the co-op, advocacy, um, owners as ambassadors out to the greater community and society. Communication, outreach, and ambassadorship, key programs to build participation, and that success means that the co-op story doesn't have to be told because it's understood and lived by the community. Creating the vision for the co-op future, local networks functioning together, and an I own the co-op campaign. Participation fosters a sense of belonging, validates food values, condones community building. Being ambassadors of the co-op to the community equals an economic advantage. Showing clarity in the difference through support of local economy, local food systems, and eaters. Outwardly publicize community engagement activities. Empowerment people participate in decision-making, affinity groups for owner engagement, and for <laughs> service to community. Growing a generation of change agents, human connections serve healthy community, and we are our solution. Take the co-op to the people, building sustainable long-term relationships with the community, membership, and local institutions, um, affinity groups with different topics which report ultimately to the board. Inclusiveness, reaching out to the community, more visibility, uh, food accessibility, getting food to people who need it, and personalized sales flyers that highlight local produce and meats. Member events are welcome. Is participation a strategic advantage? We don't see lots of people stepping up to be on the board. Everyone can own the co-op movement. Want participation? Don't just preach to the choir. And participation builds relationships, builds community. We must differentiate, be stronger, have more participation, and get more people to include themselves in Maryland's hierarchy and to move up on Maryland's hierarchy. Uh, empowerment, democratic control, and community outreach. 
challenge comfort zones, or standard demographics.